One, two, three, one, two, three, wonderful, two, three, finish, two, three. How was that? As you saw in a previous vlog, we talked about the challenges that we are facing here in Vienna. So we are here today to tell you more about it, more in details. So if you didn't see our vlog number one, please go and watch it so you understand what we are actually talking about. So obviously we chose Vienna as our city to move to, our place, and we wanted to settle here and we want to uh, pursue our dreams. However, uh, the first step we did before moving here is basically travel here for a couple of times, check how things going, how life might look like. And we really loved it. The city is beautiful. The city is amazing. If you keep watching our vlogs, you will see a lot of beautiful things about the city. However, the minute that we decided to move, we wanted to take a legal step to understand the system and to understand how we will be able to open a business and open a dance studio here and just go ahead with our life. The first thing we did is we hired a lawyer, a lawyer that he told us um, that the minute that you come to Austria and you settle down, you can easily register your dance studio, dance place, whatever you want to open and just go ahead and search for a location that you can you know work and teach and that's how it's gonna go and that's exactly what we did uh, we packed our stuff and we said okay sounds amazing sounds easy let's go so we just packed our stuff we left everything behind us in dubai and then we came to the city of art where we actually start to settle down the first few months we're trying just to find a place and settle until the moment that we discovered that it was not that easy for us to open a dance school here or a dance studio or whatever uh, they call it it was way harder than what we thought so what we find out that all the stuff that this lawyer said it was not true it's not that easy for anybody to come to austria or vienna particularly to open um, something artistic or dance school in our case because it's very regulated that you have to go through some formal training over here which is what they call it here ausbildung so it's like a training that you go through uh, to learn to master your craft mm -hmm. And in our case, as dance instructors, and we want to come here to open a dance school, this will never work. This is not, not, not in their agenda at all. That somebody comes from a board to open something here for themselves and start working like anybody else, it does not work. So all the information that we got is false. So this is what we're actually dealing with till today. Keep in mind, we are qualified dance instructors. We were graduated as dance instructors and we own certifications from United States that it says we are dance instructors in ballroom and Latin dancing in American style. So the minute when we find out about this uh, thing, so we hired another l l lawyer, um, which he took the case and he took all our papers uh, whatever we've done in the past and certifications and everything and he went to the the right people to uh, check them out and see if we are qualified to be able to open our dance place in here however as far as what he told us the minute that he applies our papers they rejected them saying that if they were not graduated from Austrian dance schools they don't know anything they don't know anything about business teaching dancing nothing now we were very kind and we tried to ask like okay so what can we do now can we do like an exam can we go through this ausbildung or the formal training and they said uh you cannot do an exam right away so that's the, the first thing the second thing in order for us to go through this training it has to be three years training where you go to some sort of dance schools and they tell you what to do and they teach you dancing and how to teach and everything about the craft and the last two years which are five years in total 
that they teach you about system basically how to open a dance school how to run a dance school and how to do all of this kind of things um, it sounds very funny and it sounded very funny and still sounds so funny for us because this is this is what we do this is our life this is what we spend our life doing performing dancing teaching people how to do it and that's it and then when we came here they just like you know put us off and they give us all of this um, hard times to be able to teach people how to dance and and you know add value to people's life and we are still hanging in there at the moment and what's the biggest irony of the situation is that the system actually it's very old-fashioned it's not updated to this day technology and the modern styles so things are actually very backwarded in everything in the teaching in the way how the business runs sorry the, the best thing we did is is that we uh, before we we knew all about this stuff um, and during that time we we went to a couple of different dance schools to see how things running we didn't spy we just went there and we checked like how how how, how they do it in austria how do they do it here in vienna especially and it was sad to watch the way they speak the way they teach the way they do stuff it was so outdated it was like sad to watch such a thing what was shocking for us as well was that um a dance places here are open only a few hours a day which is very shocking since we worked you know full day we are always busy preparing people for the showcases competitions sort of other performances and you know bringing a value in, into people's lives so it was very very shocking there are apparently two types of dancing here. There are some dances that you are allowed to teach without having license, and there are some dances that you are not allowed to teach unless you have this training and you get your certifications after five years to be able to teach, such as Foxtrot Waltz, Tango, Rumba, Cha Cha, Samba, or most of the ballroom dancing. So we cannot teach that. But we chose to go with the easy part, which is you can teach some allowed dances, such as like Argentinian tango, salsa, and others. And then we didn't want to really waste time and all of that. So we decided to go ahead and rent a place where we actually can start working and teaching and, and, and just um, go ahead because this is what we came here for. So we didn't want to waste more time on this regulations that we find a better solution so we were lucky enough to meet this beautiful lady that rented her venue for us and it has all the things that we need in order to run our business so we are really really happy about it we are able to teach our students to create a wonderful events and to create a sense of community so that's something that we do right now and we are happy with it so far so despite all those difficulties we were able to create a wonderful community everyone comes from different backgrounds we have very much multicultural uh, community everyone gets along very very well uh, it's like a family actually we all feel like family over there and actually that's the biggest reward of working in our field to hear from our students how much they appreciate our work how much value we add into their daily routine very often dancing it's somehow as well like a therapy for them so it takes away all the problems from the day and they just come and feel happy and at the same time to feel this friendliness that come from every single each person it's really really wonderful because it's something as we previously mentioned quite unusual here in Vienna so I hope through our work we actually stand out with our studio and with all what we do by the way talking about our lovely students in the next video you will see an interviews with some of them including with the owner of the place and they're gonna tell you a little bit about how it is how it feels to work with us to uh, to be taught by us to be part of our community so these are the people that are the only ones that can judge us so please hear what they have to say and stick around with us